Good afternoon. Look at this. A whole lot of sunshine with us. That is pushing our temperatures back into the 70s and 80s. A touch of humidity as well. Just a few clouds in the sky right now. There's a live look in Roanoke with our Carillion Skycam. We are sizzling again for the second straight day and for the second straight day we are going to try to make our way to 90 degrees. We are well on our way in Lynchburg at 83, 82 now in Roanoke. A degree behind where we were last at this hour yesterday. So we're trying to catch up that extra degree if you're rooting for 90 degrees anyway. 81 in Covington. Back to the upper 70s for us across south side. We had a few of those mid-level clouds come through to kind of put a stop of the heating for a short time, but those have since left us 82 degrees now again, 86 by three o'clock, jumping back to the upper 80s to around 90 later this afternoon and into the evening. Winds are going to be out of the southwest. They are out of the southwest, but they're also going to strengthen a little bit into that 15 to 25 mile per hour range going forward. So it could be problematic again for the forest fire going on in Rockbridge and Augusta counties. You see here again, those winds really start to ramp up tonight and especially in the higher elevations, 15 to 25 mile per hour gusts every now and then getting to that 30 mile per hour category. We'll stay elevated until we get to the overnight and into tomorrow morning. There's 830 tomorrow and we start to see those winds really back off. Skies clear right now. We do have our cold front. There it is off towards the west. Some showers developing along that front in parts of central Kentucky. That is going to work its way into tonight. Could give us a few stray thunderstorms, especially north of 460. This is what's coming our way for tomorrow. That moisture going to ride that cold front up coming out of central Texas, and this could give us the opportunity for a few scattered thunderstorms, maybe even an isolated stronger thunderstorm later tomorrow evening. If you're heading to the Strawberry Festival, the showers likely going to hold off until that wraps up. It goes until 530 tonight. Any kind of shower activity that would slide through would be after the net will be hot though. Great afternoon for a strawberry shortcake. Getting into tomorrow, we are going to dodge scattered showers, especially into the afternoon. Tracking that here, there is five, six, seven o'clock. You notice we're mainly dry. A few stray showers, a few thunderstorms coming in mainly after seven o'clock tonight. So again, evening commute looks good. If you're planning dinner on the patio, it looks good. Maybe dodging a stray thunderstorm or two. I think we're dry for the most part completely across south side. Overnight, we stay mostly cloudy, mild, muggy as well. Once we get towards tomorrow, late in the morning, a few stray showers with us. Watch this though. Better opportunity for widespread rain comes in the second half of tomorrow afternoon. And then once we get into tomorrow evening, the likelihood for some heavier rain even stays with us until early Sunday morning. A few more showers going to be around Sunday afternoon in terms of how much really anywhere from a quarter of an inch up to an inch in some places could even get isolated higher than that, especially the further north and west you are. That's likely where the heaviest rain is going to fall as again that moisture that's in Texas now kind of uses that cold front as a pathway to work its way up into the Commonwealth tonight. Showers and thunderstorms going to be with us. We're back into the mid 60s, a very mild night over the next several days. We are going to turn cooler still above average, though. It's just we've been so hot and above average. It's definitely going to feel different. Middle 70s Saturday and Sunday with rain likely both of those days. Chance for a few more showers on Monday. We'll start to dry things back out Tuesday and Wednesday. But no frigid air no. behind this system. We're only back to the low 70s on Tuesday, and I think we can all agree that feels pretty pleasant, especially from the 90s. The 90s had ever turned to the area already. I have to tell you, though, I thought the 90s had been feeling pretty pleasant for us last couple of days. It was pretty nice out, not going to lie. It really was. Good to see that rain coming in, though, for the no uh, firefighting efforts. We need the that north. for sure. We do.